Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step process to create an AI agent which can do function calling and tool calling with the help of Meta's brand new model Llama 3. If you don't know what Llama 3 is, I have done heaps of videos in the last few days. Meta has released this Llama 3 family of LLMs which is a collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned generative text models in 8 and 70 billion sizes. The Llama 3 instruction tuned models are optimized for dialogue use cases and outperform many of the available open source chat models on common industry benchmarks. Also, they are great for helpfulness and safety. There are two sizes as mentioned 8 billion and 70 billion, and soon we will also see 400 billion parameter model. These Llama models accept text as an input and generate text and code only. It's an autoregressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. The tuned versions use supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback to align with human preferences for helpfulness and safety. Both the 8 and 70 billion versions used group query attention for improved inference scalability. So, the tool which I'm going to use with this Llama 3 is called as PyData. I have already covered this PyData a lot of times on my channel. PyData is a framework for building AI assistance with memory, knowledge and tools. LLMs have limited context and cannot take actions. That is where PyData helps by adding memory, knowledge and tools. It also enables LLMs to have long-term conversations by storing chat history in a database. It provides LLMs with business context by storing information in a vector database. It also enables LLMs to take actions like pulling data from an API, sending emails or querying a database. Memory and knowledge make LLMs smarter while tools make them autonomous and that is what we are going to see here. Now let me go to my local system and then we will first install these things and then we will play around with it. So let's get started. This is my local system where I am using Ubuntu 22.04. I am using one GPU card of 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. So let me clear my screen. The first thing you need to do is to get your OpenAI open, open AI API key. So that is a paid option and you can get it from um, platform.openai.com and then set it like this export openai underscore api key is equal to your api key i already have set it second step you need to do is to install file data because that is what we are going to use so let me install it so all you need to do is to pip install dash capital u file data and that is going to install the file data on your local system that is done let me clear my screen Next step, let's clone this repo of PyData. So simply do git clone and then the repo's URL. That is almost done. And let's go to PyData. Let me clear the screen. And if you look at the stuff here, it is full of cookbooks and a lot of other things. So we will be running one cookbook, which is specifically prepared for this purpose. Let's clear the screen. Next thing we need to do is to install another prerequisite. But before that, let's also create our virtual environment and we will be installing everything in that virtual environment. I'm just calling it AIENV. Let me activate it and you will see that AIENV is in the brackets here. Once that's done, let's install our file data and grok here because we'll be using the grok for this purpose. So let's wait for it to finish. Do not to take too long. And that is done. So let me show you a few of the examples as how you can run this uh, memory and agentic software with the help of Llama 3. So let me first clear my screen and then let me first take you to the cookbook folder. You see that there are a lot of examples there. And the one we are interested in is in the 
basic ones or the assistant ones and the llm one so let's go to llm directory let's clear the screen let's type ls and you will see that there are a lot of models here so i will be using the grok one and there are all the things which we can try out so let's start with the basic one but before that let me go back to our folder and then all you can do you can simply just give basic.py let me first run it and then i will show you what is happening and remember this is using open AI's api key behind the scene okay so we also need the grok api key here so let me quickly set it so i have set my grok api key and you can obtain your own key from this website which is called as grok cloud or just go to grok.com g-r-o-q and you should be able to create your own api key after logging in from the left hand side so let's go back to our terminal and let's set my um i already have set it let's run this basic cookbook and you see that it is working there you go and what it has done is it has simply gone in and then the message was share a quick healthy breakfast recipe and it has used avocado toast with scrambled egg and look at the um how nicely it has formatted the output let me also show you what exactly this basic.py looks like you see all it is doing it is importing these assistant and grok and then it is calling the assistant with llama 370 billion which is hosted at the grok and then it is also giving it um, the prompt and then it, it is giving it what exactly we want and also markdown true so this is how easy it is let me clear the screen let's try out another example now in this one we will be doing a web search now for the web search i'm just going to use assistant.py but before that let me just show you and then we will see how exactly this thing works Okay, let's go to cookbook, LLM, rock. Okay, so there is no analyst here. I think they have removed it. Anyway, no, I think there is a finance analyst. So let's run that one, no problem. Let's clear the screen and let me run that one. So I'm just going to run finance analyst. underscore yes and then let's go because i have python 3 yes yeah, sorry about that let's quickly check i'm just doing it in real time so please bear with me its name is finance okay so it's a folder we need to go inside that is it trusting So this is where we need to go so instead i'm just going to run this finance.py okay so it says that why finance is not installed so let's install it let's wait for it to finish I think it would be really good if this assistant could install these things by itself maybe in the future let's clear the screen and try this thing again there you go this time it works and it is asking me what i need to ask i'll just ask it how oh, what's the top price of maybe meta let's wait for it to come back i will let it run so that you could also see the speed of it there you go so you see so it is running get current stock price meta and it has obtained the meta's price um it is investing in vanguard index fund good idea Australia. let's see if it is able to 
get the information from Australia. Nope. And you see it errors out. So hopefully if though they are watching, they will fix their uh, assistant. But let's see. Okay. Is what's the stock price of Vanguard? I'm not going to edit it. I'll just put it raw. We should need to show both good and bad. There you go. It is going to finance.yahoo.com. And there you go. So there is our uh, Vanguard thingy, imaging. And it's just giving me the function call here. Okay. Uh, any investment advice? Let's wait for it to come back. So for the investment advice, it is primarily, I think it is suggesting me to invest in Apple and then it is giving me all the data about Apple. Anyway, so the purpose of running these example scripts, I just press control C by the way, is to show you that how you can do the function calling and tool calling. Let me actually take you there and then we will see what exactly is happening. Okay, finance. So I'll just clear the screen and show you that how this works. If you want to do function calling, tool calling with the help of Fire Data and Grok, all you need to do is do these lines, and that's it. And it is calling Lama, hosted Llama 70 billion model, and these are the tools it is using. So primarily, we have built this assistant with memory and knowledge and tooling just with the help of these lines. Now. You see that these are a few of the examples which they have given which you can use but uh, i think we already used one of them anyway so this is how easy it is to do the function calling but of course you would need an open api key and then i'm also using grox api to call that model all in all i think pretty good solution but again i'm a bit wary of the cost because this thing could get out of hand pretty quickly because open ai is expensive plus I'm not sure what is a throttling and what are the cost of this Grok Clouds API because still I'm using the free tier. Anyway, if you are using it already, let me know your thoughts, especially around the costing. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.